Oh baby, let me tell you guys, I am excited. We're just getting home and I came home to this box right over here from PSA directly. We submitted a ton of rare cards in here and we're finally back, so let's get to opening it. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm super excited because a few months ago, if you guys remember, I did a quick vlog where essentially we went to a card show and at that card show, PSA was there to take submissions in person. Flash back all right so we made it here to the expo end of flashback and in today's video i'm excited because we just got our box back with all of those submissions now this should be 14 cards in total and we put a bunch of really rare cards in here we have a bunch of ultimate rare cards hero cards we even have some digimon cards in here but we're gonna be opening it all up in today's video if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a whole 10 videos we do five long videos as well as five shorts every single single week and in today's video like i said we're gonna be going through this box right here from psa themselves and uh yeah i'm just i'm just really excited so let's get right into this opening all right so you guys can see we have the box from psa over here i believe it's a total of 14 cards is what we have in here all right honestly this cost me a bit of money but whatever it is what it is we created some really really cool cards in here a lot of the cards were most of them actually were korean cards or japanese cards that were either hero cards we have some digimon in here okay so you guys can see right over here real quick there's a bunch of cards now is this the back or is this the front let's find out if this is the back or the front and then we can go from there okay so these are the backs of cards okay so let's not spoil anything here okay so we have the digimon cards first okay so let's put these to the side we'll get the digimon out of the way and then we'll go into the Yu-Gi-Oh! But bro, am I excited. So we have a total, I believe, of 14 cards, like I said. And let's go right through them. This is my first PSA return in some time. It's been a while since I got some PSA cards. Last time we got PSA cards back, we got a PSA 10 Blue Eyes White Dragon as well as a PSA 10 Ghost Rare Black Rose Dragon. Hopefully, this return does pretty well here. So let's put these to the side. And we're going to start off with the first card, which, yes, it's a Digimon card. And it is a Japanese War Greymon. Um, I believe this came as a promo in the TCG but in the OCG in Japan it came as I think from a booster set I graded this because it looked really cool also I'm a big Digimon guy and War Greymon was my favorite Digimon growing up so I wanted to get it graded and it came back a PSA 10 starting off strong with a PSA 10 War Greymon from BT7 over here and that's exciting okay so we're starting off strong I think the next card if this is the War Greymon the next card should be the Metal Garurumon okay so I I really want this to be a PSA 10 because I did want the pair in PSA 10s. So let's find out. Oh, it came back at PSA 9. That's so close. Okay, that's not a big issue. I'm not sure exactly what gave it the PSA 9 here. Oh, maybe there's like a white. I don't know. Maybe there isn't. I'm not sure. Is it centering off here? Maybe the centering is a little bit off. Okay, that's a PSA 9. I'm not super mad with that, though. We did get the PSA 10 on the War Game on. This one, mm, unfortunate. I wanted the pair in PSA 10s, but I'm not mad, though. We have another Digimon card here, guys. We'll get through the Digimon stuff first and take our time with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so this one. Okay, so there's these two. There's this one as well as a War Game on. And uh, I'm excited because I want these two in PSA 10s as well. We're going to start off with a PSA 9 Metal Garurumon. Okay, so... I'm gonna be honest with you. I sent these in. They were all really. Oh, okay, never mind. This one I see. You guys can see right there. There's like a white dot right there. Okay, so I understand this one being a PSA 9. This one makes a little bit of sense. Metal Guru and all, I'm not treating it as this nice. But let's find out. The next card here then should be the War Greymon that matches. Yes, it is the War Greymon that matches the uh, the Metal Guru one here. This one I really want in a 10. Let's, let's just hope for it. Ready? Oh, PSA 9. Okay, at least they're matching. We did get a PSA 9 set of the Metal Guru Mon as well as the War Greymon. But uh, I'm not mad with this one. War Greymon, PSA 9. This card is absolutely stunning. As you guys can see, it looks super nice in a slab over here. So we got a few PSA 9s. We started off pretty strong with some P with a PSA 10 War Greymon. We got a few PSA 9s to back it up. This is our last Digimon card, and then we're going to get into some Yu-Gi-Oh here. Okay, so this was a War Greymon. Honestly, I think this one's going to come back a PSA 9 as well by the way things are going. Let's find out. Hopefully, it's a PSA 10 though. I mean, the centering looks really nice, actually. Let's see if there's anything wrong with this okay there is that white right there that the metal Greymon had so i'm gonna just assume this is a psa 9 as well okay this card is absolutely amazing this is an alternate art of the war Greymon, and it's just such a nice card but we got a few psa 9 we got a single psa 10 so far but 
that was the Digimon stuff. Let's put that to the side. We now have a bunch of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff over here, and this is what you guys are here for. And I'm super excited. So let's put these to the side. We'll keep the War Greymon over here to the side. We'll keep these PSA 9s over here. And then let's get right into the Yu-Gi-Oh. So we're gonna be starting off. This is uh Korean, I believe. And let's start things off. No, this is Japanese. Sorry. It was just I was looking at my camera, it was blurred. So this is Japanese, it's not Korean. This is oh, this is an elemental hero Neos. It's a promo from I believe the Shonen Jump. Yeah, so it is a Shonen Jump promo. And this card, it didn't come in this rarity in the TCG year. So let's see if we can come back. A PSA and eight. A PSA eight. Wait a second. Why is this a PSA eight? Is there something wrong with this that I'm not seeing? Let's see. No, I mean, it looks good. I don't see any whiting or any scratches on it. Why is this an eight? Oh, I was excited for this one. This one I felt pretty comfortable with. I, okay, the centering is a little bit off left to right. That one, that one is painful. I'll be honest. This coming back PSA 8 is kind of painful. I was really, that card looked really good when I sent it in. This card here is Korean though. And it is, oh, okay. So we pulled this ourselves. It's the Elemental Hero Shining Flare Wingman. I want this one in a PSA 10. We pulled it ourselves. I, uh, I felt really nice when I pulled this card. It looked really nice. The centering here looks pretty good if you guys can see and let's look at the back here the back looks pretty good as well i mean oh no i see this white dot there was that there when i sent it in i don't think that was there i don't know if you guys can see it okay let's find out i, I want it in a psa 10 let's 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 please please psa 10 PSA 9, guys, oh no, we're getting gypped here. Okay, you know what? I, with that white dot over here in the corner, I understand why this came back a 9, but I, I swear it wasn't there when I sent it in. I feel like I have videos of these cards before I send them in. I'm gonna take a second look because I don't remember these white dots. Usually I don't send stuff in unless it has, unless I can like, make sure it doesn't have these things. Okay, so we have a Magma Neos Ultra Rare over here as well. Let's see if there's anything wrong with this one. I really wanted some of these hero cards to come back as 10s. Okay, I, I don't see, just off of quick, a quick look, I don't see any whitening on that one. The centering looks pretty good. Okay, this one is going to be a PSA 9, another PSA 9. Interesting. Guys, okay, I can't say I'm upset. I'm gonna be honest with you, I can't say I'm upset. PSA 9s you still can't complain with, but I just felt like some of these cards were better than PSA 9s. All right, so here, okay, there's an Air Neo somewhere. Okay, there's an Air Neo somewhere, and the Air Neos I really want in a 10 as well. So we have here an Evil Hero Inferno Wing. Let's take a look at this one. The hero stuff, I feel like I didn't send in unless it was really good. Let's just, let's just pray for the 10. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Okay, no, no, I don't understand. Why is it a PSA 8? What is wrong with this one to make this one a PSA 8? The centering maybe is a touch off on left to right, but where's the PSA 8 on this? Okay, we had a very difficult grader. Whoever was grading our stuff was really difficult on these. That, I don't think this should be an 8. I'll be honest with you, that should not be a PSA 8. Let's see what's next. Okay, this is an ultimate rare. Okay, we have an ultimate rare UFO Roid fighter over here. And this one, the reason I sent it in is because it didn't have the ultimate rare creasing. If you guys know ultimate rares, because they're pressed into the card, sometimes there's like a, a print line over here. But this one I don't see has it. I don't see has any issues in the back or the front. But yeah, I don't see anything on the front either. Okay, let's hope for a PSA 10 here. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, PSA 9. Another PSA 9. Okay, I feel like this guy just didn't want to give out 10s to the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is a very nice card over here. It's Ultimate Rare, uh, UFO Roid Fighter. Okay, not that I'm upset. By the way, I feel like I'm sounding upset over here. I'm not upset or anything. I just, I really want a PSA 10. Okay, I don't even know what this one is, but let's look at the back first. I see no issues with the back. Do we have any whitening? No. Okay, what's this one? Oh, this one is a Grand Neos. Okay, so fun fact, I got this graded because uh, it's one of my best friend's favorite cards and I wanted to see if this could come back a high grade and then gift it to him. I mean, by the way, our grading return is going right now. We started off really strong with a 10, but the way the grading return's going, I don't know if this is gonna be a 10. Let's, let's check it out, ready? It's a PSA 9. It's another PSA 9. Not that I'm upset with it, but I really wanted this to be a 10, honestly, for my friend more than anything. Okay, can we get another 10? Guys, we've gotten two eights so far, and the rest were nines and one 10. So uh, out of 14 cards, I don't know, we're not doing that. We're not doing that well. We want one more 10. Okay, this one I really want a 10. This is the Elemental Hero, Air Neos. Pulled it ourselves again. A lot of these Korean hero cards we pulled ourselves. So I know a couple of them I actually purchased, but this one looks really good. And I know this one I pulled myself. Don't see any, okay, this was not on the card when they were sent in. Guys, I have videos of these cards. I don't know if they were damaged in the process. This is a PSA 9 as well. Okay, I, I gotta look into this a little bit deeper because these cards were not, did not have this whitening 
when I sent them in. This is a this is a little bit sketch. I don't know. Not that I'm mad. Again, people are gonna be like, oh, but they're PSA nines, man. They're not bad. They're not bad condition. They're not, but you know, it still does kind of hurt. Okay, so this is an ultimate rare skyscraper two. I believe we have two of them, if I'm not mistaken. This is also a okay, so we have two of them. Okay, so let's look at the both of them here real quick. Let's start with the first one. The centering looks good. Do we have any whitening? Not on these ones. Not that I see, at least. Okay, so let's hope for one of these to come back at 10 at least. Ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> back to back PSA 9s. Oh my god. Guys, I don't know what happened here. We had a ton of PSA 9s. Now, don't get me wrong. These cards are absolutely stunning. Like, they're still really nice cards in PSA 9s, especially these two. Like, these two are, are really, really nice, but. Yeah, I'm not sure. This one coming back in 8, as well as the Evil Hero, I believe it was, is just kind of unfortunate, to be honest with you. I did not think these were going to come back that low. But, you know what? Our saving grace, at least, we got a War Green one that came back as a PSA 10. I'll be honest with you, I'm not mad. I mean, PSA 9s, you can't complain with. Some of them I wish were PSA 10s. I really wish the other, the counterpart, the Metal Guru mod for this one was a PSA 10, because that would be so nice, like having the pair as PSA 10s, but... It's okay. I really just enjoy having these cards graded and that just, you know, to me is the best thing. So this card is still just a beautiful card. So I'm not upset with that. We have a bunch of our hero cards over here. Lots of PSA 9s, a couple PSA 8s, which I did not expect. It happens sometimes. That's it with the grading game. That's just how it happens. But I'm still really excited. We get a PSA 10 and it's a beautiful PSA 10 here. Not a Yu-Gi-Oh card, but you know, still a PSA 10. Can't complain. But thank you guys all for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you guys all for being here and supporting me through my journey. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers right now. I know we can make it happen and by the end of the year i really want to get to 16,000. I, I believe in every single one of you i appreciate every single one of you the only reason i'm able to do this is because of you guys so really from the bottom of my heart thank you guys all for being here thank you guys all for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we upload five days a week here on the channel but we upload a full 10 videos a week five long videos five short videos you guys are always going to have content to watch so i hope you guys enjoyed it with that spanko signing out peace